for this video, we're going to look at applications of systems and equations. We're going to start looking at word problems where we have to write our own equation and then solve it using the methods we've learned in class. So for our first example, uh, suppose 28 members of your class went on a rafting trip. Class members could either rent canoes for $16 each or rent kayaks for $19 each. The class spent a total of $469. How many people rented canoes and how many people rented kayaks? So the first thing we have to do is define our variable. You can use any variable you want to, but just make sure you write it down so you know what is what. Generally, the question that, like when it asks you the questions, that's going to tell you what two variables you're going to use. So in this case, it's asking how many people rented canoes and how many people rented kayaks. So those are the two things we're going to represent with variables. So I'm just going to say C and K. So C is for the canoes. K is for the kayaks. Now we have to write equations. So look at the information that we're given. I have 28 members, and then I have $16, $19, and $469. So I'm going to have an equation about the members and an equation about the money. So if I start with the money equation, then I have 16 for each canoe, so 16C, plus 19 for each kayak has to give me the total 469. And then it says there are 28 total members, which means there are 28 kayaks and canoes that were rented. So C plus K equals 28. So now I can solve. I'm going to solve this one by substitution. So I'm just going to pick a variable to get by itself, and I'm going to pick C. So I'm going to subtract K from both sides. So then C equals negative K plus 28. Now this C is what I'm going to plug in and substitute in for C in the first equation. So now I have 16 times negative K plus 28 plus 19K equals 469. So I'm going to distribute 16 times negative K plus 28 gives us negative 16K plus 448 plus 19K equals 469. I'm going to combine like terms, I got the negative 16k and 19k to get 3k. And then to solve for k, I'm going to subtract 448 from both sides. So I get 3k equals 21. And then divide by 3, so k equals 7. So that means that there are 7 canoes, or sorry, kayaks, 7 kayaks. Also wants to know how many canoes there are, so I'm just going to plug it back in. Doesn't matter which one, but I've already got C by itself here, so I'm going to plug 7 into that last equation. So I'm going to have C equals, and then it's negative whatever K is, which in this case is 7, uh, plus 28. Negative 7 plus 28 is 21. So then there are 21. Another example, we have a caterer planning a party for 64 people. The customer has $150 to spend, a $39 can of pasta feeds 14 people, and a $12 sandwich tray feeds 6 people. How many pans of pasta and how many sandwich trays should the caterer make? So again, the question says how many pans of pasta and how many sandwich trays should they make? So that's what it's looking for. So those are our variables. So again, you can pick anything you want. I'm going to pick P for pasta and S for sandwich. All right, so then the equation, the information that I have, again, I have money. I have 150, 39, and 12. So I could say that 39 for pasta plus 12 for sandwich equals a total of 150. And then it says that there are 64 people, 14 people eat pasta or, or a, a pan of pasta, and six people get a tray of sandwiches. So I could say 14P plus 6S equals the 64 total people. And then I can solve this system. 
I remember these are both linear because there's no exponents here. This is p to the first, s to the first. So I can solve this one by elimination. I see that 12s and 6x can uh, easily cancel each other out if the 6 becomes a negative 12. So I'm going to multiply this whole equation by negative 2. And it's going to become 20, negative 28p minus 12s equals negative 128. Then the 12s's are going to go away. 39 minus 28 is 11p. And 150 minus 28 is 22. Divide by 11. And P is 2. So there's two trays of pasta. So two pans of pasta. I want to know how many sandwich trays. I'm going to plug it back in. Pick any one to plug it into. Uh, so I'll start with the second one. Just because 14 is smaller. So I have to do 14 times 2 plus 6 times the number of sandwich trays equals 64. So that's 28 plus 6s equals 64. Subtract the 28 over, you get 6s equals 36. Divide by 6, and s equals 6. So there are 6 sandwich trays. And one more for this video. You work at a pet adoption agency. Last week, 32 cats and dogs were brought in to be adopted. For each, you had to go buy a collar. A cat collar costs $135 each, and a dog collar costs $195 each. If you spend $50.40, how many of each did you purchase? So it wants to know how many of each of these collars we purchased. So that means that I'm going to have two variables, one to represent cat collars, and I'll use B to represent dog collars. Look at my information. I have a money statement, right? So 135 for each cat, 195 for each dog. Has to give me a total of 50, 40. So 135C plus 195D equals 50, 40. And my other equation uh, has to do with how many total there were. So there are 32 cats and dogs total divided by 32 collars. So C plus D has to equal 32. This one, because I've got C or D with a coefficient of 1, I can solve and do substitution. So if I subtract D from both sides, I get C equals negative D plus 32. And I can plug this C into C in my other equation. So we have 1.35 times negative D plus 32 plus 1.95D equals 50, 40. If I distribute 135, I end up with negative 135C plus 43.2 plus 1.95D equals 50-40. Combine my like terms, and I get 0.6C plus 43.2 equals 50-40. Subtract 43.2 from both sides. We get 0.6z equals 7.2. Divide by 0.6. And z equals 12. So there were 12 dog collars. And I'm going to plug 12 back in. I've already got c by itself here. So I'm going to say c equals negative 12 plus 32. Negative 12 plus 32 is 20. So there are 12 dog, dog collars and 20 cat collars. So whenever you're working with systems of equations and word problems, first thing you got to do is define your variables and then work on your equations. Remember the variables are almost always going to be uh, said or explained in the last sentence where the question is, whatever the problem is asking you.